Well, tonight, NASA and most of Central Florida is remembering the crew of Space Shuttle Columbia. 20 years ago, the shuttle was destroyed during re-entry over Texas, killing the seven crew members on board. News 6's James Barbero is speaking with somber guests at Kennedy Space Center and a space journalist who tells him why the, the disaster never should have happened. I remember 20 years ago watching it. Watching that fateful morning, Lee Freeman and Kim Nichols say they still remember where they were and what they were doing in England. I remember watching the first re-entry. You sort of feel yourself crossing your fingers to make sure everyone got home okay. A somber visit Wednesday to Kennedy Space Center as they walk through the exhibit paying tribute to the space shuttle Challenger and Columbia crews. The international research mission finally underway. Delayed for two years because of various issues, it took just 81 seconds into launch for a chunk of foam to fly off the shuttle's fuel tank and strike Columbia's heat-resistant panels on its left wing. This area of the wing gets extremely hot during re-entry. CBS space consultant Bill Harwood, who co-authored a book about Columbia following his reporting in 2003, says NASA should have kept the mission on the ground. I always am struck by the fact that it didn't have to happen. The real mistake was the decision to launch in the first place when they knew they had an ongoing problem with foam insulation coming off the tank. How do you think NASA is a better space agency 20 years since Columbia? When you look back on the accidents like Challenger and Columbia, those were in-house NASA disasters. They learned a lot of lessons from that and implemented them in subsequent flights. How these people sacrificed their lives for their country and for the world, even. It just brings it home to you. What brave steps people actually take to help us out. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.